This video is not for close-minded individuals who want to can't take anybody else's opinion except for their own. If you can't keep a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to for Tonina's review in 3, 2, 1. I love you, Nina. <laughs> I remember when y'all came to rob you. Hey y'all, it's me, Nina Bonina Banana Bovana or something lot of round and we are back for another season 16 Rue Pulse Drag Race Raw View. Y'all know how we do it. This is the place where we come to do what? Keep it cute, keep it mute. I get the boot. <laughs> exactly, honey. But before we do all that, darlings, the group, y'all thought we would never get back together because I've been solo, busy, being a mother of twins, a daughter named Blue Ivy. I have so many kids, I can't remember, even remember their names. But the group is back together. Our last album together was Destiny Fulfilled. And now I brought back my slaves, I mean my group Ooh. members, Kelly and Michelle. I'll let them figure out who wants to be Kelly and who wants to be Michelle. Starting with I'm Kelly. Oh well, starting with what? Lemon, aka Kelly. Tell us wait, before I even do that. I brought along some girls for real. Some, some friends of mine were trying this out for the first time. You know, I said I might bring a piggy to rob you each week. We'll see. But it, it might not be the best. But anyway, so introducing Lemon, a.k.a. Kelly. Tell us about yourself. Hello, my name is Lemon. I'm from Alabama. I can read you from Alabama to Ohio and back. I'm Kelly. <laughs> That's Michelle. And I'm also <laughs> Beyonce. She'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Okay, now, introduce the Michelle, I guess, a.k.a. some of y'all know as Cam, but now the name is Kalani, but go ahead. Hey, y'all, it's me, Kalani, a.k.a. Michelle. I know some of you bitches want to see me fall down a spot of stairs, but, <laughs> yes, I am Kalani from Dallas, Texas. Some of y'all may know me already as previous name Cam, but also, if you've seen the Sailor Moon videos that pop up in the middle of these raw views, that is all me. Mm -hmm. Because people swear I'm the one editing those Sailor Moon videos, but it's Camila, a.k.a. Cam, a.k.a. Michelle. Go ahead. Yeah, that's me. What did you? Hey, boo, how is you? <laughs> yes, that is all me. Yep. But yes, I'm... <laughs> We're secretly dr dying, y'all, but we're trying to give y'all energy. <laughs> we're, sick, we're secretly tired. Girl, <laughs> let's say it all together. My my quote when this is time in the night. One, two, three. It's, it's late. Really it's late. It really is for real. So I, I'm going to try to get us all through this raw view in drag. But if not, y'all, if y'all see happen to see us as guys finishing the drag race portion, then that's why. But yeah, I'm glad they're here. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I'm gonna read tips, read some comments, and then we're gonna do jamming with me, and then um, Kalani, aka Cam, wants to do a jamming as well, and then we'll get to the show. Now, some of these might be a little old, but we'll see. But this is from it is December 22nd. Anita Ayala, thank you for this big tip. I appreciate you. Thank you, Rivers Wilder Green, for that fat knuckle green. See, yeah, green Grinch puss. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Richard Matchman for always matching and being a Richard. Thank you, Michael okay, Hicks. Secret. Michael Hicks. Thank you, Jacob Dunn. Thank you, Jacob. Happy New Year to to, to you. Uh, oh, Heidi Coco and Romeo get along. Coco did a, a good job with Romeo. She really did. Like 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 when Romeo would kind of get on her nerve a little bit, she might bark a little bit, but she did a really good job. Thank you, Brooke Mess. Now come on, shoes. See, I don't, I don't even know what to talking about. Shoes. What shoes? Oh, maybe when I was in Linux Mall trying to buy some shoes. Thank you, Adriel Gala. I've, I'll admit I've been got for gone for a bit, but I'm back now. Don't block me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Foster Roosh, for Nina being in drag. Don't get used to it. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Thank you, Gustavo Alvario. Thank you, Quilivio Rodriguez for dressing up. I know, I know. Ethan Jones, thank you for this big old giant tip, honey. Girl, girl for that big old tip, Kelly, 
I mean, well, since you claim you're Beyonce, can you please give us a Beyonce note? What's that one she did? Um, classic in the South. She's uh, like. Uh, Yeah, he's going to take his tip back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hannah Luterio. Not girl, why you tip me six six six? That number stays following me. I swear it does. Especially when I'm playing Una. Thank you, Hector Urbina. Thank you, Nathan L for the good tip. Thank you, Boo. Thank you, Kwamil. Oh, uh, wow. Thank you, Gonzalo Chuck. Thank you, Anita. Yeah, again, thank you, girl. Thank you, Richard Mashman. Okay. Oh, you girls, y'all don't know about tips to y'all. You know, like when y'all do y'all shows, y'all don't. Oh, 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 no, my day wouldn't know. Sorry. <laughs> thank you, J Star. Thank you, Yuki Jackson. Thank you, Chimera. Thank you, Yolanda Jernigan, for both tips, honey. Thank you, oh, Blood Elf, Brian. Thank you again, boo. Thank you, Keiston Devet Cruzek, for the big tip for both of them. Thank you, Kofi Owusu. He African. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Demetrius Leggett. Thank you, Natural Beauty. Thank you, Ryan. Uh huh. Thank you, Travonda Williams. Thank you, Brevet. Oh. Oh, not James is here. Oh, oh, not James. James, because I'm not charging a, a, a fee right now. I, mean, I know James is here, bitch. James, go, y'all. James Mayfield is here, bitch, girl. He, go, he better make sure he have five dollars for this damn membership. <laughs> y'all, y'all. Kelly and Michelle say hi to James. Hi, James. <laughs> wait, wait, oh wait, y'all can't see them. I'll show them y'all. Hold on. Now, ooh, put it back. <laughs> Thank you, Tenwar Yasin. Bye. Thank you, Cameron Clunis. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos Alva. Carlos, you like tipping me. Make sure you tip these two. I was gonna say young women, but um, these two people okay. as well. In the description below, that's <laughs> Kelly and Michelle. <laughs> But only one of us is young. Oh, I'll let y'all be the judge of that. And only one of us is thing. Who do y'all think of the youngest? Say down below, and y'all know y'all know to say my name because y'all won't get blocked. Um, <laughs> thank you, Matisse Fitch. Thank you, Doug Nugent. Thank you, Jordan Thompson. Not to be confused with Gina Thompson's nephew. Not Merry Christmas to your feet for being a great creator. What? What? I don't know. He's saying mm -hmm. he likes my foot. My foot. Thank you, Mike. Everybody stay with me. Y'all know how I say it. The donut man. Thank you, Michael Manson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Vivian. Bar thank y'all for these great these big thank you, Vivian. Barbonis. Bar thank you, Robert Ean, as always. Thank you, Zane Younger. Thank you, Tom Tommy Birmingham. Thank you, Jordan again. Michael, thank you, Ryan. Ryan Store. Thank you, Jennifer McCullo. Thank you, Ryan Ryan Moore. Thank you. Tanwer again. Stephen Hardwick. Thank you, Stephen, as always. Thank you, William Fincham. Thank you, Robert. Again. Goddamn. The same people. Michael Austin. And last person, Anime Chan. Thank y'all for y'all, but I'll probably have more as far as like, you know, y'all leave tips also on YouTube, but I'll just read it with the comments. But thank y'all for, everybody for all y'all, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Keep it coming. Keep it going. Money, honey, trust. And if y'all, and if y'all are trying to tip these people for real, let them, let me know so that we can like, you know, maybe separate and give them something too. Please, we need it. Go Please. Bye. He's not paying us for this raw view. <laughs> as I shouldn't. And we did not become the world's famous superstar. Beyonce became. We're jealous. Mm -hmm. Envious. Mm -hmm. We need money. <laughs> I never got my second debut album. <laughs> so since they could use the immunity anytime, what happens when someone wins multiple times in a row? Like, let's say if next week was a regular episode and Sapphire won again. 
I still know her. Y'all said, girl, y'all were saying I was saying her name wrong. Girl, Sapphire, Safari. I don't damn know. <laughs> does this now mean, <laughs> does this now mean she has double immunity and she could, and she could theory, theoretically save herself from the bottom twice? So many unknowns. I don't know. For this Rodalis, I am with you, Nina. The Touch It remix is too good. Exactly. And I swear Xfinity is owned by Satan with their piss poor customer service and ran on no Wi-Fi signal. No, it's true. They're horrible. They're horrible. We're dollar smart. You can tell me CIL can make a mean deadly sandwich. <laughs> Y'all swore she looked she looked Indian at air. <laughs> we love racism here. <laughs> oh, this is a tip slash comment. Thank you, Cassie Carpenter. So we love your drag, Nina. So pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Davies Version, for your tip as well. She said the drag kings will be taking notes how to do natural man fish makeup. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we're calling us. Tell me Holly and DDG look so good in the video. <laughs> Hell mess. Don is literally Willow Pill. I like her, but I can't root for her because she literally just we, we literally just saw this. You know, I was saying that like for me, the you know, it's like denim, Willow, Mick, um, Don, like it's just kind of that in a way same kind of aesthetic in a way. So but people were like, oh you know, they get offended by that, but it's like I mean, you, you can see similarities, and that's just the truth. Like, do y'all see that with, like, Don and, like, um, Willow Pill, or no? I mean, for me, for me, every time I've seen, like, somebody talk about Don, it's always been a mixture of Crystal Method, Willow Pill, like, Godmick, Denim. It's always been, like, those four combined, like, into one character. Everybody's like, these two had a baby, and they made this person. So it's clear that people are making those comparisons. I know it's for the cast. It's nice to have a double premiere with no elimination, but it's pretty boring as a viewer because there's no stakes and they haven't eliminated a girl on double premiere since they first had one in season six. Exactly. It's like for them, I'm sure they're glad, like, we all get to stay here. But for me, I'm like, can y'all go home, please? Like, are y'all cool with that? With people, somebody, y'all like, do y'all like nobody going home? No, somebody gotta go home. I mean, like, I mean, it's cool that they're giving them the opportunity to, like, dine more than like them all like collectively as a group because usually the first person is forgotten but they should just send somebody home from like the first episode and like the first group right they actually should have you right they should have it's gonna go on forever it is it is thank you oh cynthia villarreal for your tip as well greeting from peru girl i went to peru for a child i had an old dirty foot bottom Feet so dirty, bitch. He left his soles of his flip flops on my floor, and I saw his dirty footprint. But mm -hmm. it, girl, the, the feet were dirty. Girl, like girl, you know your feet are dirty, though. When you, I, 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 I can see your footprint, your footprint on the sole of the um, flip flop. But anyway, the booty was good though. That's what counts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Marquise, for your tip as well. Thank you, Ahmad, for your tips as well. Thank you, Nash Mariah, for your tips as well, for wearing heels. Girl, bye. I don't get used to it. <laughs> yeah, I told you that to be for an orthodox shit. <laughs> Thank you, Kai, for your tip. <laughs> I can't stand morphine. So rude with a dad, with a, with a body of, of somebody's Latino dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. Potato. <laughs> oh, no. I'll, you know, I'm going to get back to her when we get to the show. Um, okay. Nina then called, see, here I go. Sapphira, everything but her name. <laughs> girl, I had that RuPaul, that RuPaul disease, girl, but I don't know anybody named. <laughs> I said, I agree. Band split. Only one allowed per season. Right. <laughs> this is how the 411 studs and their six feet films are in Houston. <laughs> I can't. Is that how they are, Cam? You're in Texas. I I I, I, I ain't not in Houston, but is that how it is? <laughs> is it is it I mean, short bitch, short I mean, studs? Bitch, I guess so. Nobody, I guess Mexicans only come in five five as guys, and then they come like <laughs> they be dating outside their race, dating these white girls that are five eleven. I said secretly, uh, I feel like New York doesn't run out of girls. Eh, pretty much. <laughs> that's why they that's why they have more more Miami girls this season. I said, hey everyone, how can y'all translate? She looks so stank doing that. I'm French and I don't get it. Please help. Stanking, smelling bad, right? I don't understand it in Nina's sentence. Why does Miss Sapphire look stank? And when she's dancing <laughs> with love from friends. 
<laughs> so <laughs> for, for me, when I say somebody looks stank, like they look stank, like she was doing those squats. It just look it's it, it's just a word, like it's just like she looked she was squatting and taking a doodle. Like it doesn't mean like smell wise, but it, it could kinda mean that. Like it just you just look stank, like you look stank. But like, like, how would you explain it? Wait, like Cam or like any, any lemon. So, so like something that I can see that's like is stank per se is if like you see someone like do a move and you kind of like cringe a little bit. But if it's stank, your nostrils kind of flare up a little bit too. Right. So you like the nostrils. <laughs> yeah, the nostrils flare up. Mm -hmm. Like you're just like, Ugh. Yeah, like that's what stank is. Yeah, I mean, lemon. Do you agree? Seen them grow. Have uh, you ever seen them girls that walk with the, uh, the flat booty like they sit on the couch all day? <laughs> and then when they turn to the side and they walk all uh, hog legged and wide, you be like, that's how she walk. Girl, that's how I'm be when I get a girl with these pads flat in the back. <laughs> 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 but I hope that helped you, Mr. French person. Wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Said, somebody said, not Mercedes E. Monstar. Girl, you know Mercedes, girl. That's a legend, honey. <laughs> A legend for all the wrong reasons, but she's a legend. For the wrong reasons, but she's a legend. I gotta stop doing drugs. Somebody says, as a trained opera singer, she definitely wasn't singing well. So I was surprised people were clapping and cheering because even to the untrained ear, she didn't sound good. What did y'all think about it? Because I personally didn't, didn't think um, Safari, whatever, Sapphire sounded that good to me. But what did y'all think? I think she sounded like she had some tissue in her mouth. I don't know why it sounded like that. Some of it, like, she was, like, singing under her voice. Like, mm -hmm. no, you know, it's always such like, like, sound, sound not as loud as they are. Mm -hmm. she, it's like she didn't want to be too loud for them, I guess, for the stage or whatever. Maybe maybe that was what it was. Because, you know, like, some opportunities, they sing for, like, the back world. And she seems like she was just singing for just them, you know what I'm saying? It's like she didn't, like, really belt it out, like, the actual notes. It just felt, like, really, like, subdued. Like, oh, no my girl. Did you like it, Cam? <laughs> like for me, I thought it was okay. Like I'm not a trained opera singer. I'm not. I thought it was very mid. I thought it was okay. Like, but it does get very much so. Like I sing opera, but my community theater type oh. of opera. <laughs> They are going to be reading us, girl, because they're going to think we are reading them. But we, we can say these things because, after all, we are Destiny's Child, and we've been singing for a long time. You know, Matthew knows Matthew knows my father used to kick our butt, have us out there training early in the morning in the cold and heels, you know, building up our stamina and endurance. So, we know, we can talk about these kind of things. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Michelle What's still sings in community bars. <laughs> Thank you, Cuthell Kelly, for the tip. That has been all the comments. Now it's time for jamming with them. And girl, this is going to give me energy that I need. This is another drag queen stumping song. I used to hear the drag queens playing this song back in the day. The one who used to be out in the streets hooking at night and messing with trade by the morning. This is a Shaka Khan song and it's called I Won't. Well, actually, we'll do cams first because... I think his is going to be boring. So, Camila first, a.k.a. Kalani, a.k.a. Cam, a.k.a. Freddie Penongas. He's going to do, she's going to do, it's going to do, they're jamming. So, go ahead, honey, tell them what you're going to jam with. Okay, so the jam that I'm going to do is going to be a song that I think is really beautiful. Even though it's not like a high-energy song, it definitely is something that I hold dear to my heart because I grew up on this song. And I think the song has a very strong meaning out there. For those who have love out there, um, the song is called Trust. It's by Keisha Cole and Monica. Well, here we go. And y'all, she really wants to do a Mexican song, but just to prove me wrong, she wants to do a black song to prove she's down with the homies. So here we go. Trust featuring <laughs> Trust by yeah, Keisha Cole. Let's prepare. Featuring Monica. Here we go. What up, Mo? What up? You know it's your girl, KC. It's like what this beginning part is, it's just Brandy and, not Brandy, um, Keisha and Monica having this conversation, and they're like, hey, what's up? Like, I want to tell this guy that I really like him, but, and then they go, but what? You know, if he loves you, he needs to show you that he loves you. And I feel like that's such a strong message, like, nowadays, because if people really want to have, like, connection with somebody, they will put in the work 
like with you and for you as well too. And I think that's a very strong message. Let me be the one who can take you from all the Like see, like you can already hear them like harmonizing together. Like this song has a lot of harmony to Tell them. too. And I feel like it it really does like flow like really well. I I'ma tell them, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> like <Not> bruh. <laughs> But no, trust because of the song, okay? But the song, like, it's very like it's very melodic. Like they both like their voices just sound so well together, like as well too. Because you always hear like the boy is mine by Brandy and Monica, but this song by Keisha Cole and Monica, it's not that well known to my knowledge. But I think the harmonies in it are just so beautiful. The way they harmonize together is beautiful. I think the whole song is beautiful. No, baby, you're beautiful. Thank you. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> I trust you, I love you, I want you. The next harmony that you're about to hear like right now is like, you can literally just have them just literally just, it just goes in sync. Like they go in on this part, like together. Not the Holy Spirit Girl. hands, now calm down. <laughs> Girl, no, it's the way they harmonize, bitch. Like when you hear that go together, bitch, it's like a butter, a butter. Yeah, know. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. So, it, it, it didn't cut out, like, we, I couldn't hear it at all, but I know how the last part goes anyway, but, like, the way that it's, like, softly just, like, slow down the song, and then it's just over, it's, mm -hmm. like, it just decrescendos down, and it's just, like, a soothing, like, melody, the violins all playing and everything, but it's sickening, I love it. Well, I know you want to compare it to The Boy's Mind, but I'm sorry, The Boy's Mind, We'll be on top of that one. I'm sorry, darling. They can try again next season. But it was cute. <laughs> it's not to be sorry, girl. <laughs> well, that has been Cam's jamming. And now let's get to my jam. And now it's time to wake up. Everybody can come on the restroom break. Yes, come back and sit down. Come back from the kitchen. It's time for a real jamming. <laughs> Now, when you hear that, uh, but when that beat comes out, you'll hear it, you'll hear it, you'll hear it. That's what I, that, that I live for. <laughs> That's when you do a little pivot and a little turn. See, you could, do, this, this is the old, you could, you could, you could buck to this, but a slow, sexy kind of buck. Girl, oh. Okay, that nasty flow, ooh, shut up. You, do -do -do. Baby, when you need me. Ow! That part kills me. Oh, yes. You heard a horn in the background? Yes! Ew. Yes, I want your love, can't you see? That you're my everything. Ow! Okay, now we we'll go to the bridge. Now, we go to that bridge, don't jump off. Hang on there. Ow! Everybody sing together, I won't. I. Now, when the part comes up, one of y'all get up and buck. One of y'all get up and buck. And when, oh, oh, you'll hear it when it comes on. Go! Ow! Ow! <laughs> now, now, what do y'all, what do y'all giving above? Y'all giving? What are the scorecards? <laughs> y'all, let, let us know down below. <laughs> the harmonica. Have you ever played a harmonica before? I don't think I ever tried one. Yeah. Oh, y'all have? Yeah. Does it really get all that spit in there all the time? Yeah. You can fill it up with spit. Know. Save it for later. Damn. Well. I'm going to stop it there. That has been my jamming with Pierre Shaka Khan, I Won't. Ooh. And it was your what, Cam, again? Dressed by Keisha Cole and Monica. And that's been Jamming with Pierre featuring Camilla. And that's been Jamming with Pierre Shaka Khan, I Won't. Now, let's get to the show. Ho. Get into my mug. It's about to get off, bitch. Okay, girl, she is tired. She is sleeping. So 
This is my last thing to my face. At the end of this video, I'm going to be bald headed, greasy face with makeup wipes, and y'all will appreciate it. So, thank you. Did not okay, I will say, I think she looks pretty. She has, a, like I said, she has a very, like, black woman face. Like, like, like she will cut you. What do y'all think of her? Girl, that's a wide job. Uh, <laughs> oh, for me, like, I mean, it's pretty standard. Nothing too over the top. It's nothing, like, basic either. I wish the wig was a different color. Absolutely stupid. <laughs> Somebody say he's kind of cute as a boy. He kind of is. Kind of in a Kevin Hart kind of way, though. Uh, not Kevin. <laughs> it's like in that kind of way. And he do be watching y'all. I mean, he has, well, he, 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 he's watched, so, I don't, so let's be nice. But, <laughs> well, you always, say, you always say he has a wide jaw. He's, let me say that, not. <laughs> I am ridiculous. Well, I thought that was funny. Go, not making drag race workroom snow angels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to pro. Like, if y'all don't see us talking about all the girls. It's only because, like I said, I already did the Meet the Queens. So it's going to be pretty much just like us. Like if, if they're saying anything that I want to talk about while they're walking in, then I will. But yeah, I've already done that. You can go watch the old video for that. But what's your name? Hershey LaCordate. You're going to have to say that one more time a little bit slower. Jenny Garth. Troy Spelling. Is that you? I can't figure out where she's from. Can y'all? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a hint. No, don't, don't do it. Oh, Mississippi. I live in Texas. So she's in Texas. Do you know her, Cam? Right, Cam. Uh, honestly, no, I haven't really heard her name circulate in Texas. Mm -hmm. She kind of reminds me of this one other queen that's called like Rain. She lives in Houston, Texas. No, I haven't heard of Geneva Carr. The only Rain I know has a husband hey, has a husband what? named Danny, and she's like sucking him off. Okay. So I said this before, her body is bodying. I'm like, yes, ma'am. But I heard that she's already like getting, um, hey, oh, this, this is what I was talking about earlier when I was going to come back to this when we were talking about, um, morphine. Morphine. Yeah, okay. Morphine. I like seeing some comments and some people were saying, like, oh my God, I stand playing Jane because she's coming in there with the attitude and we need that and the villain, da da da. I don't, we have, I don't think she's, it, 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 it seems like she's purposely doing it, not to like, just purposely doing it. But I just hate the double standards in the in the drag race family because the same people who are saying, "Oh, we stand her for being you know evil or being the 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 bee," are the same ones who would turn their back on another queen for being the same way who they who they don't like. You know, it's like season two, like Tyra, um, Tatiana, Raven, like Raven and Tatiana were bees, especially Raven, but yet they hated Tyra so. I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just like this most recent season that just happened. Like, Mistress, like, she was shady within the first episode. And by episode three, her account got blocked, mm -hmm. you know, or it got deactivated because she was being as shady as this queen mm -hmm. could be. Um, but, yeah, it's just like there's like that double standard of, like, who it is. And honestly, it kind of seems more so like... I don't want to say it's like racially motivated. It but seems like it because seems like, like sorry, cut you off, but like it's, it's because like you know he's white and we're Russian, whatever he's white, but and he's kind of you know he's a cute guy, so I feel like they're a little more lenient to that. Right, and this is the one with the alleged like allegations as well. Oh yeah, too, so um, I forgot, I forgot about the allegations. So I don't know how that plays into effect. I don't know how this plays into effect of it, but I guess we'll see what they bring. Right. Me and you're cosplaying today as the Antichrist. Oh, how they love playing with gold. Uh, some people in this world think drag queens are evil, so... Oh, yes. I guess that's her take on it, but they always just go for religion first. That's just not the actual people themselves. Right. So... Exactly. Right. Okay, babe. I said before, your mama got on so much highlight. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl, I can stand beside her in a dark room and find my keys. <laughs> bitch, she rides in her old outfit, bitch, and that outfit is bright. She got her bright song. <laughs> she does. <laughs> oh yes girls i am taking off my drag as we're watching this i am because i am getting so tired i'm de-dragging i have multiple videos that have over a million views have y'all seen her videos yeah i have like a few times mm -hmm. yeah like uh, i'll it'll pop up sometimes same but it'll pop up sometimes on my account i'm like oh okay so i'm quite sure she's she gonna be flipping on here too God. 
Kahana has competition. Ever seen a corset add weight to somebody? Oh, that's what I Not I've never seen a corset add Whoa. weight to somebody. Not add the weight. <laughs> Yeah. Their leg hair. I don't know if you've seen that. Over 11 million views. I'm like barely on TikTok. I've never seen that. It's like, it's like, That's weird. 11 million views. I haven't seen it. Have y'all before? No, but it's weird. <laughs> like, she definitely like wanted the spotlight to be on her when she said like, oh, I'm, I want to okay. TikTok. Like, oh, me too. Right. Everybody now is like, I'm on TikTok. I have many followers. Uh, okay. I'm a deity. Oh, Lord. The children playing God again. So what do y'all think about mm. Banana Doo Doo? <laughs> <laughs> like she definitely seems like she's gonna be fun this mm -hmm. season like she's not afraid to be like quirky right and be like out about it but also like fashion kind of like this like fashion side mm -hmm. to her too so usually right. when you get to like the fashion queen they're serious but she seems like she's gonna be a fun they're person. what i'm they're serious <laughs> <laughs> no, girl, she ain't torn. She ain't torn. She ain't come out there and be like, "What is this freaky, weird, freaky?" See, like, girl, no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was weird. Bananas. Be true to yourself and never. RuPaul, you want this wig? Cause you need it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm liking that cow print suit. I'm like, right. okay. She's not wearing her um like her pajamas today. She said she's her serious. She's serious. <laughs> so, gals, what do y'all think so far? And I'm saying that this group seems like they definitely like have like the staff like with them as well too. And especially when it comes to Miss Plain Jane, she definitely is like the shady one out of the group so far. I think that RuPaul don't don't it's just, was being old her new thing. Because girls, he got that old white wig on. See, he he, he stuck on the wig. <laughs> I'm done with that wig, bitch. Girl, she got the egg wig, the egg hairline. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, with the girls walking in, as far as like from the last episode and this episode, do you think one is stronger than the other so far? Just just from just from walking in interest wise. I think the first group of girls had stronger outfits compared to this group. Okay. This group of girls got stronger personalities. I think the last group of girls was very much like look queen. Like they gave us all the look queens first, I guess. See, but people could say that they, they consider uh, oh, or or the girls who thought they were look queens because some of those girls are not look queens. Well, people saying that they they thought that they considered this group to be more of the look queen. They say, but okay. Ooh, I just think people people say that in comments. <laughs> So this is I will say I think I think the other photo shoot the other team had was better idea than this. Right. Why didn't they get the same one? Right. I know to make it fair, but I guess they want they want to make it different. I guess they're just like not the DMV. I hate that I did that dance. Nine hundred two one hundred. Do you have an OnlyFans account? No, I don't. Look her up. Oh Lord, RuPaul about to add her to the the, the fracking camp. He's going to be jacking to her. Do y'all find her cues a boy? Yeah. To me, it's very generic. Mm-hmm. You're a normal, Eight. white, nerdy, white boy. Mm -hmm. Eight. Give her eight. You think you're nerdy for real? No. Like, look, you know how white boy, looks can be perceived as white people. <laughs> <laughs> like, she gives me, like, very generic, like, like, jawline, like, just, mm -hmm. like, dark hair mm -hmm. like kind of sassy as well too you know that if you aren't his type he won't get you up like you know so basically they're saying that he's so good for me he won't want me exactly that part <laughs> plain jane if you yeah. plain jane if you want them dm me and let me know if you want them thank you yeah. me yeah. you go from girl you wearing a thong was he? Right, I'm like, what? what? I don't know. Was it a, what? I don't know or the microphone. The only trade that I see is, you know, the kind that I want to trade in for replacements. Maybe you're right, Cam. He really is into himself. <laughs> but let's do our mug again and see if he wants us. Get close to the camera. Show them, show them, show them what you're given in in, in natural light. Yeah. 
Oh, well, here goes the split. <laughs> we said we're gonna ban it to one split uh, episode. So, so, so there it goes. I'll take a few copies of that right there. <laughs> I hated that photo. <laughs> right, all, on all four. It was horrible. <laughs> Those prescription sunglasses. Well, the ones in the coat, they look a little bit brown. They're too bright. In other words, he wants some white bananas. It was too black for him. Oh, hey. Oh, child, honey. That Nymphia, you go, girl. You, you, you rock, you, you rock your stuff, baby. Do y'all think she had the better fo photos or, the, or, or what? No. I mean, honestly, the, all the photos that they kept for them were all silly. Right. Just like, <laughs> they weren't that good, honestly. Right. So, I think, I mean, deservedly for, like, silliness, I mean, she really gets silly from the get-go. So. Right. Well, congrats, Nymph. Oh, and they're doing... As we already know, they're doing another All Stars talent extravaganza. So, get ready for pre-recorded Drag Race girl songs that nobody asked yeah. for. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah. <yeah. Yeah. laughs> we'll also receive immunity. So, two girls are going to have immunity. One from this last episode and one from this episode. Are y'all liking that they brought immunity back or no? It's kind of complicated, like, how they're bringing it back. Because, like, we mentioned earlier, like, they, they can stack her now, or they're just only going to have it just for, like, a one-time use. So you can't get more than just one. Right. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I guess this brings in a question, like, how we play the game. They're all like, calm now, girl. It's not all source. <laughs> right. <laughs> how are we playing, y'all? <laughs> know how long each of y'all are gonna last in this competition he kind of in a weird way looks like pearl there like in, in, like in, in a way like i see pearl but, but it's the darker hair and stuff but i kind of see pearl i don't know why with him i'm just like i don't know if he's intentionally just being shady or if he's just actually like that. right and like like literally like he has literally not said he has not said one nice thing about anybody, about anything. Mm -hmm. Like literally every time we said something, it's always been something shady. So I'm already kind of like, well. Is it because he's- What your character is going to be known for. Is, is, it, is it because he's Russian and they're kind of mean? I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. We're rooting for you, girl. Okay. It's the Goblin Porn. That is what- He's my kind of person. Not he watches the Goblin Porn. He. You watch the goblin porn plane, Jane? Oh, we gotta be able to, we should talk, mama. Cause that, for those of who y'all that haven't watched that, like, I'm not, I try not to be in, into all that, like, weird, like, cartoon and creature stuff, but <laughs> the positions and thing they were doing, yes, ma'am. He can be in quiet, but he knows cause he's a, he's a jack to it too. But now he's trying to be a classy woman in his purple, um, okay. wig. But he know about the about, about the goblin porn. Tell <laughs> so you like, yeah, man, I'm goblin cake all day, bitch. Part one and part two, <laughs> but part one was better though. Okay. Uh -huh. I, when I first saw you, I said, okay, competition started. Well, that's because we were the only two in the room. Clocked. <laughs> the girls have their eyes on Maya playing. <laughs> it's lemon sleep. My suit. The eyeshadow look looks pretty though. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> but you gonna wake up and be like, what the hell? <laughs> May he rest in peace. Attention. Who is that, Cam? So her name is Becky G. She, like her face, she was almost like a one hit wonder because she had a song called Shower. And it became like really big in the states, but then she switched over to Latin music. So she's worked with like other artists, like Carol G, the person who I have my name inspired by, Carol G. Um, but she's well, she's she's known more for her Latin music than she is for her American music. Lemon, do you know her? 
<laughs> Never mind. Boom. Becky G walks in. Becky G. Nice to meet you. I'm buying this. I'll buy it. But that it can't that that has the same wig. It, yeah, literally. Literally. <laughs> I'm buying the outfit though. What, what what do you think? I think it's cute. The like I need to see it full again, but the pattern I think is really it's a really fun pattern color. It's that zebra. You ain't see it. you ain't see enough, goddamn. I'll rent it. It's something about like the top half I like, but then the bottom half I don't think like flares out or does the outfit justice. Really? Okay. Somebody cleared customs. <laughs> Not somebody cleared customs. <laughs> Can you relate? No. I'm talking lemon. <laughs> I personally am not finding it that funny, but do do you be in it? You're like she said. <laughs> I I know I know what you're gonna say, but but <laughs> uh, um, that we're both wearing flowing outfits. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. I, I, I just don't find it that funny. But it's just it's more so like she said Chile. She put the Chile in her mouth. You know that could be so that's something else. But her dancing is cute. Like there's there's not really been that, like that type of like dancing on the show and done like in that with those type of movements. Usually like when people have those dresses on, it is supposed to be like a flowy and like graceful thing. She's mm -hmm. doing well in it. But I can already clock her reveal that she has it underneath it. So okay. That kind of like puts it away for me. Okay, cow. Now Michelle's singing the words. <laughs> right, I think she knows it. Right. Well, what do you give it? It was cute. Yeah. I would probably rate it like a. I would rate it like a seven out of ten. Okay, I think that's fair. Yeah. Because I, I feel like she could have done a lot more with it, especially like she was gonna buck and stuff like that. Like she could have really went in when she's like, "I'm Geneva, the funky honking Neva." But yeah, she could definitely could have gone in like a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry, I just happened to look at the screen again. I forget. I forgot. What would you rate it, Lemon? I was so bored. Oh, lemon. <laughs> I think you. I I I think what what he I, I, that's his rating right there. Yeah, I think he knocked. I think that performance knocked him into a coma. <laughs> she set out on the mission for a hot. No shade in that lighting. I'm like, why? Did, why is she looking like Lil, Lil Nas X? <laughs> bitch, you can't even see her, bitch. I I, I thought I, I did. I, I, I thought I saw a mustache and long hair. Now look, I done went through this rough terrain to save the girl. Oh, she's telling a story. Is that Mother Goose? I I'm kind of like okay. Yeah, she's definitely like giving that energy. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I, I saw it. Too. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> she kind of looks a mess, but I like what she's saying. It's, but yeah. it's the outfit. Like I guess she wants to be like the jungle explorer, but. Also, she could have dragged it up a little bit. Right, also the wig, I think, too. I'm just like, uh. kind of, She's kind of almost falling up. She's almost dancing a little butch. It's a little... Right. It's kind of butch. <laughs> like, she definitely is oh, like... Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. No, like, she definitely is, like, performing with her chest. Yeah. It's a little butchy, butchy. See, if she's gonna do like that whole like whiplash thing, I think her wig should be more grand than what that was. Cause that literally to me was like a like shake and go wig. And she just put it on, just whipped it around. But I would have, if she's gonna whip it, I'd rather her have a ponytail or like have bigger volume in her hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, so that wig was gonna be church auntie wig. One, two, one, two, three. Picture me upon your knees. Ew. Like that, but that, but see, but do, but shot, but fall. On this little cantina. Right, I'm kind of okay. But why like her head turned back with it? <laughs> I think it's the outfit. But she sounds good though. Joan Rivers, oh my God, Rue, would you look at this motley crew? Not here to sound manly. I don't hear Joan at all right there. <laughs> Too little. I don't either. At all. Like <laughs> it's kind of, it, like, it started off really promising. Then, then I think it got a little cringy. Or something. It's the, it was the impressions. Like the impressions just threw it off. She would, would just did like her little 
act, and maybe she wanted to like scat as well too. I feel like that could have like showed off her vocal range because mm-hmm. she did not see her words good. Right. It just ended kind of just like okay. Yeah, it did feel rushed. Yeah, it it, 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 it needed a little more, a little more lemon. <laughs> He's good. He's going to fall off the screen. <laughs> That's kind of cool so so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go, they, go, she, she's already going to be a fan favorite. Go, go, wait. We we already had this talk already before, uh, but yeah, okay, mama. She but she is doing a good job. She is. I would say the visuals are there. Like she's visually appealing, and then like what she just did, like the whole swirly arm thing, like that's visually like pleasing to look at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ew. Yes, girl. Milan. Milan too looks promising. What do you think, girl? Shit, you and look good. But I will say she did do that all in flats, so though. Do you think she could have done it in heels, or do you think they're gonna deduct that because she did do it in heels? No, I think that's like how that's how they do it. I guess where they are, like that. Mm-hmm. So I think it's I, I think it's fine, and I don't blame her. <laughs> so far, <laughs> I was getting ready to be like lemon just now. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> you are everybody do lemon. What? Because I get the message she's doing, mm-hmm. but this is tied to showcase you. And if you wanted to showcase that message, there's more beautiful ways you could have done it as well, too. Oh, <laughs> same. I think I would probably appreciate that more at a nightclub, but right, yeah, but yeah. I wasn't blown away by it. Like, would it make me be like, yes. right? In fact, I think I'm still gonna, still gonna vote for Trump. <laughs> and you take away the message, and what is your talent? Holding up posters? Girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said it, not us. Okay. <laughs> protect queer art but is she giving us anything worth protecting that he is uh, but that's true though <laughs> it's like what i just said like she didn't demonstrate anything it could have been in a much more beautiful message but she didn't do that right from miami she looks cute there in that picture right there like that mm-hmm. Florida. come on sis she kind of like she could be like T.S. Madison's daughter or something. I was gonna say she kind of looks like T.S. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like the mixture of the hair. I think it's interesting. It's like Afro, but with also it's like little buns and braids. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. It's like um, I think it's Bantu knot, something like that in the front. Mm-hmm. Like she's doing a good job lifting it, but I just feel like I'm like once again like you know she's in Miami at a club, you know, you know. But right, I'm sure she's getting ready to back flip the house down. But yeah. Your mom, mama love her highlights. Mama love her highlights. What is it? Because you just, you just look so like, just like, so unimpressed. Just, just like. Who, <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? You, bitch. I, I feel like, I mean like, it's some it's something weird about when you they do when you do stuff on, on a main stage, and then when like you're just like in your realm, like for me it almost seems a little kind of like off. I don't know if it's because like it's the song or just like the short movements or like uh, I don't. But but she she can def, she could definitely perform, but I just don't. But I don't know if it's like if I'm reading it on the main stage for. Maybe she needs she need, she need another number. I think it's a song, honestly, because I'm like, what is this? Right. <laughs> maybe it is a song. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Yeah. I would say, well, Lemon, what do you think of the song? <laughs> <laughs> I really wish. Oh. Oh. Now I'm looking at the show. Oh. Girl, he is having a dream. <laughs> 
I wish I could sleep. I could sleep that deep. I really do. Dude, why are you frowning, girl? Yeah, he's having a bad dream. <laughs> I told, I told you what do you think of the song, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, they must have not gave her like, uh, or she couldn't get like a. But the other girl that did, did that whole queer art thing, she had a song that's like a real song. I wanted to, cause she not right. get, a, cause she not get a real song that she wanted, cause it just doesn't go with the song. Plus, I feel like you know, I I kind of hate when this happens, cause like when we see what they can already do in the All Stars thing, when it comes to them lip syncing, it's like, oh, we've seen it. Oh. <laughs> Not mayonnaise. So far, I'm like, what the heck is going on so far? <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the burger finger, but. I'm kind of confused. Like, you just. He talked about, like, other people's talent, but then it's like, so your talent is Ooh. burgers and fingers? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> RuPaul's living because she just likes foolish stuff, so. No, for real. Like, it's, like, right when she revealed her chest, like, she was just like, oh my god, it's the best thing I've ever seen. Right. As if Jimbo wasn't just on there. Right. Exactly. I hated that. Like, and I hate <laughs> the smell of mustard, too. I would be so upset smelling that. Oh my god. <laughs> that literally just upset me for the night. <laughs> Now, Jane, you were reading a lot of people, child. Like, it it was interesting, but... Okay. <laughs> Lemon? Sorry, my head hurts. Uh oh Child, if you, don't, if you don't just go to bed... I know, it's so late. You try, bitch. Right. I'm ready to go to bed, too. And I can't... It's 5.48. I entered as a green, unripe. Child, if she did one more banana look. That's her thing. I turn into a yellow banana. You know, if you're. I'm gonna rent it. What do you think? Yeah, I'll rent it. I just feel like the banana thing, like you said, is like <laughs> we've seen it, and then some of the bananas like lined up really weird. It's not like symmetrical. Now you can't make from looking like boys, boys, boys from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> we are over it. That reveal. So I'm coming out of my big ruffle coat. And she has such a uh, potential with having a pretty, pretty face. I just think the makeup kind of. I don't know, something about it ages her. Or something like that, but it's it but it is very black girl makeup though. But I'm going to rent this. I'll I'll, I'll rent it. I'll rent it as well too. I'm just I don't know. I just feel like it could have been up just a little bit more, like the puff sleeve. Mm -hmm. Like if she's gonna go for that, that should be like either a little bit more fuller or like a little bit more sharper. Seamstress and had a tomato pin cushion. So tonight I'm a. It kind of put me in mind when I was saying how I want to do my dress that I've always wanted to do that drew with the strawberries over it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. well, so far, I kind of like it. Let's see. You know, like, oh, that's wonderful and cute. And then I take off the cup. It was cute. I rented it. What do you think? It was. I rented it as well, too. I think that some of the little spots and stuff on there kind of like, because I get the whole like tomato thing, but then like the spots kind of gets me the mind like red mushrooms. So I'm just like, mm. right. Yeah, but it, but it works. Jacket for when it's cold and swimsuit for when it's hot. Mm -hmm. I don't think I care for this all the way here's the thing is that i think both of the miami girls like it's morphing the last episode she revealed from like that towel to a bathing suit and then we have her another miami girl going from mm -hmm. a coat to a bathing suit so i think True. it's very predictable i guess what well, you won't buy or rent it uh i'll rent it okay <laughs> you'll see mario and then boom i turn into maria i mean i didn't get mario because it was already Drag, but okay. Listen to mariachi music, so I hold that close to me. Um, I don't like it because even the beginning one, I was like, I, I was kind of confused on what it was. But I get what she was trying to do, but I don't think I like it per se. What about you? Yeah, it's like, like her first look was very bulky, and then this one right here, like she could have had like more fun fabrics like underneath it. Yes. The hair's nice, I do yeah, like the, the hair's hair nice, like, yeah. kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I'll rinse it. Okay. 
mascara is running. <laughs> Since Megami means goddess. I'm not sure she's revealing anything, but the the face is kind of cool. But so far, um, I don't know. I I'm, 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 I I don't think I'm into it. I'm kind of confused by it because she said she's going for a goddess look and. I know there's like goddesses who like have like a darker, I guess, exterior, mm -hmm. but I don't get goddess from this. It seems like she right. just had a dress, like a that like black or blue dress, whatever color that is, and then she had this angel wings to just attach to it, and she's like goddess. Right. <laughs> yeah. So you don't. I mean, I think I don't know. I'm not sure she, she, she's revealing anything, but do you rent it or buy it? I'll rent the look so far. Okay. Then I reveal they're in my hands. The palms are the. Oh, that's her reveal. The eyes in the hand. Okay. I don't want to rent it anymore. Because <laughs> that's Pan's labyrinth, and you're gonna mm -hmm. do like that type of reveal. Like you need to either you should have been the monster itself, or you should have had, like something more sticky underneath, like right. or bigger. The focus wasn't even your eyes. Like that's, right. that's gonna be your reveal. The focus needs to be your eyes. Yeah, I feel like she might be in the bottom. Could be wrong though, but let's see. Runway in my gorgeous Romanov Dynasty inspired. I like the hair piece. I think it's I think I think it's her her, her Russian um thing. Let's see. Russian robe robe okay. to reveal a big titted Boston. She puts me in the mind of like I'm, I'm getting for some reason I'm, I'm I'm starting to get like um Cameron you know queens like that but to the but but uh -huh. may, maybe a little step above or to the screen whatever she seems to have fun that, that I will say that was a reveal because like you're like oh this classy kind of thing then it goes to this like bimbo so all right not that I care for the outfits but because of the extreme I'm gonna buy it yeah I'm gonna have to rent it as well too just because <clears throat> for me. Like you said, like the reveals are like two different things, but I feel like the execution on this second one is kind of just more like out there because anybody can like go from one thing to the other, mm -hmm. like we have to be different. So I don't really see like this being uh, quite like a big reveal in that type of way. Okay. And the reveal is? Her hands. Yeah, the eyes. Okay. All right. You were right. Even RuPaul was like, what's the reveal? I found her makeup atrocious. And then she's gonna swing her hair. She is so messy. <laughs> the studs can be seen everywhere. Where is your uniqueness? Well, I mean. Well. I mean, but just saying. It's my aim on the page. Oh my God. I, everybody really was acting like they were living and reading for her, but they all put in her like last. <laughs> right. I'm like, did she do that bad? <laughs> but even though I said, I told you, I was watching, I was just like, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. It was something off about it but like you said maybe it was a song maybe yeah um, yeah plus they said people done seen it all over so it's like you know okay and geneva car geneva really the top i'm surprised i was good well am i that surprised that plane james in the top no just because it was silly right rupaul's yeah. cackling right i know let me see i have all the girls plasma well never mind because she did the impressions in the middle which kind of messed her up mm -hmm. i think geneva by being there. Okay. Well, congrats, girls. No one is going home. As I called last week, like, nobody's going home. This is gonna be a long season show. By Becky G. Do you know this song? I do. It's very much so. It's a very teen girl song. Okay. Cause I don't know it. So let me see. I like the beat. The doom, doom, doom. But it's very old school, like, 90s kind of booty shake so far i mean i think they're both doing pretty good i can't, can't tell who's doing the worst right i feel like uh playing jane able to move a little bit more freely since mm -hmm. geneva's like in that dress so and her look kind of getting a little bit from mm -hmm. so, sorry yeah i'm sorry her look goes with the song too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't do it again not her breast coming out. Oh. <laughs> even though she's covering. I'm surprised they're actually showing that. Right, right. Because now, now I gotta hide it. And even though she's covering her neck up, that breastplate is still a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah, it's not her. I, like or the color is off. Or too me. wide up here, or something. Take our time. Wait, are they gonna ever? I can't even show this.
to them bitches that do not like me, they want to cut me, they want to slap me, they want to stab me, they want to punch me, they want to spit on me, they want to murder me, they want to stomp me, they want to bite me. Come put your hands on me because your ass going to jail because I'm disabled and I can charge you. I'm a police hoe, you better know. <laughs> I can't go get a beer here because this thing, I can hear shit. And so that concludes this portion. Plain Jane won the lip sync, and the rest of the cast lived happily ever after. <laughs> now, y'all, this raw view has been bootleg. <laughs> Literally, I'm tired now even finishing this. The rest of the video that we recorded, somehow the audio's not on there, but the video's there, so I can't even, it's just, anyway. Thank God most of it showed, but yeah, the rest of it, there's no audio. But um, yeah, just thank y'all for watching this bootleg mess. Thank you for Cam and Lemon doing the video again. Oh my God, if y'all would still like the tip um, for this bull, please do. Um, like, subscribe if you can. And I'll catch y'all for the next video. So as always, stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye-bye. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is FUBU?